Yikes, negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go somewhere warmer. Welcome, my name is Brandon. Please join me on this visit to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We are heading to the Galleria at Pittsburgh Mills in Tarrington, Pennsylvania today, but I am hungry after that flight. Let's stop at the mall at Robinson for a pierogi burger. We have wall burgers in Minnesota, but no pierogi burgers, unfortunately. Hey guys, I'm just walking a mall here. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, bye. I am being a little bit goofy today. I released this video on April Fool's Day, but I am not here to fool you. This is my own footage, but I am the fool. It was foolish of me to film a mall that already has over a dozen videos. Why the heck would I do that? I had the opportunity to meet. Would someone please, please, please turn down this vaporwave? I can't hear myself think. Thank you. I had the opportunity to meet other Dead Mall video creators at the beginning of 2023. A few of my friends asked me to film their malls. I did not want to at first, but when I see the coast is clear, I gotta film. As this is a Midwest focused channel, I will share my thoughts on this mall from a Midwestern perspective. If you are worried that I am pivoting my channel to a different direction, don't, don't fret. I will have one more East Coast mall video and then return to the Midwest. Since there are so many videos about Pittsburgh Mills, I'm not going to dive into mall history. Instead, I will share personal commentary and compare it to Midwest malls. First off, this mall is very modern. It opened in 2005 way north of Pittsburgh. My friends told me that the place has never done well. People don't want to drive all the way to Tarentum for shopping when there are plenty of other malls in and around Pittsburgh. It seems crazy that someone thought to open such a large mall as late as 2005. In Minnesota, the last enclosed mall to be built from scratch was the Mall of America way back in 1992. Even in the frozen winter wonderland of Minnesota, we are not building new enclosed malls. I am ignoring the new Asia Mall, which was converted from an old Gander Mountain store and opened in 2022. So what did I think of Pittsburgh Mills? The mall felt very surreal. I wasn't in a mall. I was on a Hollywood set. Also, as of the editing of this video, I have filmed over 60 malls. This is the first time I became bored while filming. How much more mall is there, I thought. I'm filming the same thing over and over and over again. I think I have enough footage, but this mall keeps going and going. I checked my watch and recorded that one lap was a half mile around. Now you might be thinking, oh look here Mr. Minnesota, you have the Mall of America. That thing is gigantic. It is, but I did not realize how well laid out Mall of America was until I visited Pittsburgh Mills. Mills is laid out like a racetrack and you have to travel down one of two long hallways to go from one end to the other. There is nothing in the middle but a perpendicular hallway. Mall of America, on the other hand, is laid out like a square with several different ways to cross into the center of the mall. Instead of a couple of children's areas like Mills has, the center of the Mall of America contains an amusement park. While both the Mills and Mall of America have different sections or neighborhoods, the Mall of America sections are very different. Some are dark, cozy, and wooden, while others are bright and sunlit. The different neighborhoods of Pittsburgh Mills are more like variations on a theme. I would compare it to a development in an outer ring suburb where all the houses are nearly identical. Oh, you just went shopping at Macy's and now want to go to Dick's? <laughs> Too bad. 
You walked all this way and now have to go outside and around the front entrance of the store. I may get some flack for being negative about this mall, but I have good things to say about Mills later in this video. I plan to make a more goofy video for April Fool's Day about Pittsburgh Mills because I was trying to find something to make this video more interesting. However, after re-watching others' videos, I realized several people have already made silly videos about Pittsburgh Mills. There are videos where people make snarky jokes, climb around the children's playground, and even goof around in the movie theater when it was temporarily closed. Did we all find this mall kind of boring and thought we needed jokes to entertain our audiences? While I originally thought that the mall was boring to film, the place really grew on me. After my first Friday evening visit, I returned Sunday afternoon and spent several hours here. I kept making laps, over and over. I spent nearly an hour walking and talking with Adam of the Vintage Spaces channel. By the way, if you are not subscribed to his channel, I encourage you to do so. I love his video of the Reno Town Mall. It is absolutely jaw-dropping. I have visited plenty of 1970s brick malls, but never one that was two stories. I encourage you to check out his channel. I will share a link to the Reno Town Mall video in the description below. Adam and I were not the only people lapping the mall on a Sunday afternoon. There were dozens upon dozens of Pokemon Go fans walking around collecting Pokemon. Another reason I kept lapping the mall was that I didn't want to go home. The fakeness of the mall gave me a feeling of surrealism that I found strangely relaxing. I also knew that not long after leaving the mall, I would be leaving the 50 degree weather of Pittsburgh for the frozen tundra of Minnesota. As I record this narration at the end of March 2023, this has been a wicked winter. In the past, we have had 60 degree weather by this time of year. We have not even hit 50 yet. Almost, but not quite. While I did get bored of the hallways, this food court was a sight to see. I took several minutes of footage of this place. Wow. I wish I could have visited when the stands were still in business. A shout out to my friends Kate, Elizabeth, and Lavender. It was great to meet all of you in person. An extra thank you to Kate for driving us all here the first night.
I had intentions of making a completely foolish video for April Fool's Day, but my jokes have petered off. Just as my in-person boredom turned to a meditative peace as I lapped the mall. I could have made the drive up to the wooden paneled Cranberry Mall, but I needed to make another lap. Yeah, yeah, another lap. It's only another 15 minutes. Oh, I have time for another lap. Yeah, let's keep going. I probably come across as a goofball for my previous comments, but something occurred to me as I was recording this narration. My mother grew up in eastern Ohio, so I had been to the Pittsburgh airport many times as a child. We always drove west though, never east. What if I had grown up here? This would have been one of my malls, and... I probably would have great childhood memories of Century 3 as well. But I'm glad I didn't. It has been a joy to share Midwestern malls with you that have never been filmed before. How much more can I complain about the cookie cutter suburban housing development look of this mall? When editing this video, I could not find any footage of the Macy's wing of the mall. Funny, I lapped this mall so many times, but I forgot to film the wing. Oh well. I mentioned my mistake to Sal who runs the fantastic Xlog YouTube channel. He offered to let me use his footage, so now you get to see the Macy's wing of the mall after all. April Fools! Haha, <laughs> this is my footage! I must admit again that I am the fool. I had an 18 minute cut of this video uploaded to YouTube without the Macy's footage. I was nearly ready to share the video with my Patreons for early access when I realized I needed a good thumbnail. I went back into my raw footage and I found nearly 5 minutes of Macy's wing footage. Dang, this, this mall is just so repetitive. I wanted to be done with this video and move on to edit my Mountaineer Mall footage. Oh whoops, I meant that to be a secret. While Sal did offer to let me use his footage, I politely declined. Why would I do that? Maybe some sort of Midwestern do-it-yourself personality trait.
The last few minutes of this video will be footage of me driving around the mall. If that does not excite you, I will not be offended if you head out. While I originally filmed this video for others, my next East Coast video is of a mall that I have been wanting to see for years. I am excited to share it, as well as share more of my adventures in and around Pittsburgh. I found the mall so relaxing that I forgot to film myself leaving the place. Maybe there is still a part of me there making laps today. I hope you enjoyed visiting the Galleria at Pittsburgh Mills with me today. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Thank you.